Well, it's an idea that really uh, came to uh, light a couple of years ago uh, to how to motivate students and how to motivate kids in our communities. And so we look for uh, partners, uh, executives, entrepreneurs, uh, bankers, um, that uh, could also teach them, the students, I mean, uh, their success. What is it that they did that made them successful? Uh, and obviously, uh, we've teamed up with, my, in my office, George Cardenas, with Sam Sanchez, who is uh, one of the principals of uh, the chain uh, restaurants, uh, Sam, Semco Enterprises. And uh, he also talks about, he will talk about his success and how he got there. And hopefully he can teach these students, the ones that are gonna be joining us for lunch, what it takes to succeed. And a lot of it has to do with work ethic. Uh, and uh, you know, Sam will talk about his work ethic and what made him successful. Alderman George kind of gave us a, an opportunity to get back to the community, which we're really excited to do. Uh, having these kids uh, kind of remind us of what we went through and where we were, and we were lost at that time. You know, we worked hard, and, and having the opportunity to, to show them that success is at the reach of their hands, it has to start now, and uh, I think the Alderman has done a great job reaching out to successful people, hardworking people, to get back to the community. And sometimes it's easier to spend some time with the, with the kids, and our, the, which are the future of our country, and be able to, to support them, show them, and guide them and I hope we can do a good job. It's important that we guide you and hope you can call us. I consider that these niños se les podría decir niños, pero no lo son, ya son jovencitos, casi adultos, son los líderes del futuro, son las personas que nos van a representar, es la voz que vamos a tener en los próximos años y considero que es crucial que ahorita ellos escuchen de parte de todos nosotros, los que ya hemos pasado por las experiencias, lo importante que es la educación y lo importante es que se superen constantemente. Will be the person who gave me the opportunity, who can make you a successful person with your hard work and your talent. You can be up here coaching and giving back to the community because that's what we need to do give back to our community. Thank you. Sam talked about if it's up to you, it is, it is, it is to be if it's up to me. And they have to make those decisions. We want to guide them uh, to ensure that. You know, there's some of us that they have the experience. We want to give them that guidance. There's many examples that are that are that are there that people that uh, have to share. We want to bring those to them. seniors, they're going to go on to college, some are going to go to work someplace, to not deviate from success, whatever that happens to be. And then Sam talked about that you don't have to be an attorney, you don't have to be a doctor to succeed. Whatever is it, whatever is it that you decide to do to succeed, make sure that you master that and you become the best at, you, at whatever you can be. Well, I want to be a doctor and then for them to say that I'm able to go to college to help me and become successful. It, it like pushes me to want to do it even more. Se trata de integridad, se trata de trabajo, de disciplina, de determinación, pero muy importante de enfoque. En muchas ocasiones lo perdemos. Considero que la iniciativa que tiene el concejal George Cárdenas, así como el empresario Sam Sánchez aquí en John Barleycon, eh, es solamente no es solamente de decirles a los niños quédense en escuela, sino también decirles tienen las herramientas para que con esto, con esas herramientas pueden lograr sus metas y todo lo que se han propuesto. So once I graduate, I want to go to business school and study about business and uh, I wanted to be a chef and uh, well one of my dreams is uh, to actually uh, open up my restaurant as well and uh, and uh, if I, I find it more important it was when he said that uh, achieve your goals it's uh, when he said that um, that anybody could actually do it all you have to do is try. A mí lo que me impactó fue el señor Sánchez cuando dijo que él había recibido por seis meses uh, ayuda pública. O sea, yo nunca lo esperaba de él, de un señor que ya está um, 
que ya um, es dueño de un, de un restaurante como este. Mis ojos se pusieron la, lagrimosos. The reason why I welcome here and uh, it to show them and uh, so they can experience what's possible with hard work, uh, to witness what was what can be achieved with uh, with time, hard work, and, and uh, dedication. I believe that uh, everybody has the opportunity. I used to believe that the doors are always open. Uh, if anybody wants to close the doors, it's themselves. So what we're doing here is coaching them and show them the easy ways of life, but not easy work of, of success because success is hard work. People believe that uh, no matter how hard they charge or not, they, they try. Success is, is too far away, but success is unnameable if you're willing to put the time into it. So by telling them my story of uh, being persistent, not quitting, continue working on it, uh, being respectable, uh, it shows that I was able to succeed. And I think that if they see that, that I'm, I am what they could become, and I was what they are. I think it's a message that uh, they understand, they can relate to.